Hola Leo Sun, Virgo Moons. Welcome to your 2024 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal pre recorder or live reading. Just click on the link tree below or text me at 646 902 5715. When you see this, is when you're meant to view it. Also, check out your 2023 Sun Moon readings and see if they rang true for you. The first portion of this reading, I will go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination. I'll pull the main cards and take a quick look at your 2024. The second portion is in the video link below where I will have a deeper interpretation of those cards with clarifiers and in addition to a card of advice for 2024. So Leo Sun Virgo Moons, what a combination and this duo. Your Leo wants to be the center of attention and the life of the party. Your Virgo Moon wants to work from behind the scenes and shies away from the limelight. The two things they have in common is very exacting standards when it comes to others. At times they can come off as judgy and arrogant so proceed with caution. You can be very selective when choosing your friends. You only want the smartest people that will challenge your analytical mind, but will have you look looking flattering, will have you looking flattering in your travels. That's weird how I kind of phrase that, but I think you get what I mean. <laughs> there are many times that your Virgo needs to hold back your Leo when you can get temperamental. While your Leo shows you how to accept recognition from your hard work, but won't allow you to work too hard. Life needs some leisure also. So Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guys of the Universe, what do you see? What do Leo saw Virgo Moons need to know for the year of 2024? Can you please show me January, February, March for Leo saw Virgo Moons? we have the knight of pentacles in the upright look me up on facebook instagram tiktok like share subscribe donate and support of my efforts you can also refer me to a friend always appreciated page of swords is in the reverse for april may june Alrighty. we have the four of pentacles in the upright for july august and september and what do you see for October, November, December? We have the star card in the reverse, which is the card of Aquarius. So I see you being very tentative in the year of 2024, um, rightfully so, because I do see something coming at the end of the year and you might be doing this in preparation for it. So you may have some inkling um, that something is gonna befall you or is gonna be coming at the end of the pike. Knight of Pentacles in the upright for January, February, March. I see you kind of studying, observing how you're going to move forward um, through 2024. I feel like you're taking everything in. You don't want to do anything. It seems like you're trying to play it as safe as possible. You don't want to do any risky um, it, it, um, endeavors, have any kind of adventures that you don't need to have. You're just kind of laying out your blueprint for 2024 and how you're going to proceed in regards to that. Um, in April, May, June, um, I feel as though you need to be more vigilant about somebody, a person or an entity. I think you need to pay more attention to them. Um, the reason why is that I feel like they're saying or they might be doing things that you're not aware of uh, that could be detrimental to you um, or painting a very unflattering picture in regards to you. Why this person's doing this, I'm not really sure. I don't know if they're trying to rally up troops or they're trying to get attention or um, you know they're just a bully. Um, I don't even know if bully is the right word. But I, but I do almost feel like you need to keep an eye on this person and be very wary of every move, they, move they're making and how it might affect you. And that is what you may be doing because the Four of Pentacles in the Upright for July, August, September, I see you not being very sherry. That's my don't share card. It's kind of keeping everything that you've worked for um, and keeping it, you know, keeping it all to yourself, all your possession, possessions, everything like that. You're not letting people borrow stuff. You're not sharing, um, you know, what's going on with you or your sentiments about something or anything like that. You're just kind of in lockdown. So, and it may be because you feel that the, this person is being a little bit intrusive or like I said, they're, maybe they're picking up, um, you know, details about you and using them, you know, to, to advance themselves or, or, to make themselves look better or something in that regard. So I feel like you really clamp down during this period of time. Now, the star card in reverse can be a little bit challenging because it's kind of like when you feel like the whole world is against you and the obstacles are just too great. There's no way that you can overcome them. You might go through a period of sadness or depression and lose hope and lose faith. Um, to be honest, I feel like it's because of what this person did or um, what they kind of caused. Um, now, let me preface that 
by saying that these cards, <laughs> because a lot of people don't understand how to use these. They're like, oh, it's a negative reading. I'm doomed. You're not doomed, okay? I'm seeing how things would play themselves out without inter intervening. You coming in and getting a reading is intervening. Your privy to information normally would not be, so you can use your free will moving forward. So hope for the best, um, plan for the worst, use your free will moving forward, because now that you know the information, you can come up with a plan B. So if it's just kind of lining up and you feel like somebody is kind of doing this and trying to affect you, start figuring out what your counter is gonna be or how you're gonna, um, protect yourself and that could change your whole trajectory for 2024 if you put some thought into it. So that's what I have for you at this time. If it does resonate, consider a personal pre-recorder or live reading. Just cl click on the link tree below or text me at 646-902-5715. Um, and then also, oh yeah, make sure you click on the Vivi link below where I'll be pulling these cards on those cards for a deeper interpretation in addition to a card of advice for 2024, which it sounds like you might need. And then finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, donate, or refer me to a friend in support of my efforts. Always greatly appreciated. Otherwise, leave a sun for good moons. I will see you in the Vimeo. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.